To celebrate Easter and spring at home, I like to put up an Easter branch and cover it in ornaments. And I have noticed that in the shops, you can even buy these now. But today I wanted to show you what I'm gonna do this year. So what I've done is I've created these little Easter eggs, which I'm gonna hang on my branch. And you could personalize these and give them as gifts if you want to. Now, uh, one of the real hidden gems of the Benina machines and the Benina software is the fact that they can do really lovely cross-stitch designs. And I wanted to share that with you. Um, there are various different ways you can do it. If you've got a sewing machine, you can do it with the sewing machine. Or if you've got the software, there's some endless options. And I'm going to show you two of those in the course of today's webinar. So I think cross-stitch is a really, really lovely technique. And when you create something with the cross-stitch, and give it to someone it looks like you've made a real effort and it's taken you loads of time but when you're using your sewing machine you can actually make these quite quickly so let's go and see how they're done today i'm going to be using the fantastic b790 pro now this machine has a wonderful range of cross stitch designs if i go into my decorative stitches which is this wiggly line here and then press the 301 folder and tap here i can expand this and this shows me all the wonderful cross stitch options we have. We have actually 44 options in total. But if you have a different, um, different Benina, um, most of them do have cross stitch options. So for example, a 475 has 11 different cross, cross stitch designs. A 570 has 34. The 770 has 20. So just have a look on your machine and you should be able to uh, find some cross stitch designs that you can use. So to start off, I am going to um, create a pink and a white egg. So what I've done is one side is going to be pink and one side is going to be white. So I've just sewn those pieces of fabric together um, and marked out my egg shape using a little template I've created, just drawn around that. And I've marked a center line. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew stripes across this all in one go. So, and then I can cut it out and piece it together at the, at the very end. Now, what you could do is you could have a really, really long strip made up of lots of different colors or a single color, and you could do four or five eggs all in one go just by sewing these long lines. But for today, I'm just going to create one egg. So I've got one side pink and one side is going to be white. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to thread up the machine and then we can start sewing. So as I said, I'm using the 790 Pro, and one of the great features of this machine is that it has an automatic needle threader, which I love. So I've threaded up, as you would do normally, up until this top needle bar here. Then I can take my thread and I just pass it through the guide and round to trim, and then I can press the button, and then it swings round and threads the needle all by itself, which is fantastic. Now, on other um, models of Benina, obviously you have your semi-automatic needle threader, which is also wonderful, but that is really a feature I love on this machine. Okay, so the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a cross-stitch design from my many um, options here. I'm just gonna pop that open. So my cross-stitch folder, and I'm gonna scroll through, and I think I want to use one, uh, sorry, 373. So I can select that there and that's going to appear on screen. Now on this machine also I have my wonderful pinpoint laser here which I have got active. So I don't know if you can see it shining down but this is going to show me exactly where my needle is and where it's sewing. And I'm also going to use the marking on the centre of the foot just to guide it down the line that I've marked so I know I can keep it nice and straight. Then when I move on to my next row, I'm going to use the edge of the foot as a guide and keep, just to keep all my lines nice and straight. Okay, so we can go ahead and start to sew now. So when I start to sew, this is going to do a securing knot um, at the beginning, which is going to be just enough to hold that in place. And then when I get to the end of the row, I'm going to use my pattern end button, which is here. You can see that. And when I press that, I set that up so it's going to not cut and raise the foot. That just makes it much easier for my start and the end. So I'm going to stitch this line down and then I will slowly move my way across the egg. So here we go. See that.
So this is quite a complex design, but it's really pretty. So I just need to guide my fabric because the wonderful Benina feed dogs are going to do all the work for me. If I had to do this by hand, obviously this would take hours, but because I'm doing it on the machine, it's quite a nice quick project. So when I get to the edge of the egg, I'm going to press pattern end and then it will do one more pattern and then it will stop. So we've got loads of wonderful designs on this machine, lo lovely cross stitch designs. But if we wanted to, we could actually create our own using the Stitch Designer program. So this is for the 790 Pro only, I'm afraid. But if we go in, we can tap here. And so this is the design we've just been sewing. So I could edit this if I wanted to, but I want to create a completely new design. So I'm going to go for a new age. And I want to snap to grid because I want it to be cross stitch. So it needs to be, you know, it needs to be quite precise. And then I can just draw my own design. So I can just tap on the screen. So you can create your design and then I think maybe you want to go there. Excellent. And I can look down the side to see how it's going to look. I think that's going to look nice. And then once I'm happy with it, I mean, I could edit it and play around with it if I wanted to. But once I'm happy with it, I can press the green tick and that takes it over into the normal sewing screen. And then this is a stitch like any of your other cross stitch designs. I could save this in my personal program and use it again and again. So I'm going to use this to stitch down on my egg. And this is my own cross stitch design that I've designed myself. So we're going to go and do that now. OK, so I've done uh, the majority of the egg. I've just got the last bit to do. And I'm going to use stitch 324 for my cross stitch folder. Uh, so, OK, away we go. I'm just going to use my start stop button to do this. Brilliant. So that's my first egg, uh, the cross stitch. Um, section done and I'll show you how to finish it off um, at the end of the video but what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to look at the software and we're going to see how to create this design which is sort of completely full of cross stitch so that's going to be great. Today we're going to have a look at what the software has to offer in terms of cross stitch. Um, now I think a lot of people don't, don't know about this that there's a real hidden gem within the software and that is the two application programs that it has. So we have the cross stitch application and we also have a quilter program which I think is really underused. So today I want to show you what the cross stitch program can do because it's great. It allows you to create bespoke cross stitch designs which you can then stitch out and create beautiful gifts, things that look really thoughtful and that you've made um, made a real effort to create. So we're in the software now and we're in Designer Plus. So the cross stitch program is only in Designer Plus, I'm afraid. It's not included in the creator option. But the good news is that if you haven't got any software, then you can download a free trial from the Benina website. It's a 30 day trial and that does contain the cross stitch program. So you could have a go for yourself and see if you liked it, see if it's what, something you wanted to take further. So. When we look down our toolboxes, we can see at the bottom that was one that says application. So I'm going to click on that and then I can click on where it says cross stitch. I'm going to give that a double click. And this is going to open up the separate program, which is the cross stitch element. So I've got the right size hoop because I'm going to be using the large oval hoop when I stitch out. Uh, and I'm just going to get rid of the grid because I think that's just a bit confusing. So we've got a nice clear screen. 
So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into picture. I'm going to click on my picture tab and I'm going to click on load picture. Uh, and on my desktop, I have saved my file, uh, yellow egg, and that's in a, a JPEG format. So I'm going to click on that and open that. And there we have it on screen. Now, in terms of artwork, you can create your artwork um, in some graphics software uh, and save it as a JPEG, or you could simply draw it and scan it uh, or paint it and scan it and save it as a JPEG. So there's lots of ways you can get your artwork. Um, and uh, so I'm using this little yellow egg. Brilliant. So now I've got my design on the screen and as I say, it's roughly the right size of, of, that I want for my egg. I think it's about 10 centimeters high. I can then go into design. So when I go into design, there's various digitizing options, different ways I can do it. I can auto stitch, which is like the auto digitizing um, in the in the main body of the software. So that will automatically fill the design with crosses. Or I can use my magic wand, which is a nice way to do it. So I can do it section by section. What I'm going to do is I'm going to auto stitch and then I'm going to edit using my pencil and erase tool. So I get the design just how I want it. I think that's going to work best. So I'm going to click on my um, auto stitch icon and then I click on the design and that brings up this next screen. Now I'm keeping it to the, the, the palette that the um, software can see. It's saying I've got six colors, which is fine. I'd like to, all I need to do is omit the background because I don't want the white. I'm going to keep my stitch count the same at 10. And then I just click on OK. And just like magic, it's full of crosses. So to show you that better, I can just move the picture and I can zoom in. And we can see now that the design is now full of little crosses. So when the stitch is out, it's going to look really nice. Now, the software's done a pretty good job, but there are a few little bits I'd like to edit, and I can do that really easily. So I can go into my zoom tool and just zoom in a bit more. Now we can see really clearly all the little crosses. So I'm using full crosses, but there are lots of different cross, um, cross stitch options you can go for um, if you wanted to get a bit more advanced, but I'm just gonna stick with the basics. So I'm just gonna have a bit of a tidy up really. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you how to do that and then we can um, we can come back once I've gone through the design. So basically, we're going to choose the color we want to edit. I'm going to cut, edit this dark blue, which I think is looks like it's C8. Then I go into my pencil, click there, and then I can just click on any crosses I want to change the color of. So I'm just going to make these a bit bigger. That's great. Now, if there was um, a section I wanted to change the color of, uh, or I wanted to get rid of a stitch, I can. I can go into Erase. So, for instance, I don't know, I might want to get rid of that cross. I can just erase it. Um, and as I did a moment ago, I can add. So, I'm going to change my color here uh, back to the, little, the brown color, and I'm just going to add a few more, you know, just to neaten it up, really, just to have a play. I mean, if the... If the auto digitizing has missed a section or you wanted to add a section, then you could do that. But really, it's just tidying up at this stage and just getting it how you want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a tidy up and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to um, export the design so you can stitch it out. OK, so I've had a play around with my design. I'm really happy with it now. I've added a few crosses, taken a few away, but I think it's looking good. So what I need to do now is save it because um, I need to save it as an ARX file and then I'm going to open it up in my normal Designer Plus embroidery screen so I can send it to my sewing machine. I can't do it from this um, application, from this program. So I'm going to go File, Save As and I'm going to save it in my, uh, my Designs folder and it's an ARX file. I just had to type in the name and then I can press Save. And then I can go into my normal Designer Plus version 9 folder, which I've got here open. And I can go and insert embroidery and find it. There it is. And it's a cross-stitch uh, file. 
and I just need to open that up and it should come on the screen. Now, it's saying it's not a grade A or B art file because it's not, it's actually an ARX file. So I can't make it larger or smaller than 10%, but I'm happy with the size it is, so that's fine. So I can just click on OK. And here is my design. Let's have a little look at it. So it's looking good. So because I'm going to make a 3D egg, I need two of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Control A and select it all. And then I'm going to go copy and paste at the top. Then I'm just going to move my top layer over. Give it a little bit of space. So now I have two. Then I'm going to go Control A again. So I've got them both selected. And up here, I'm going to rotate them once, twice. So we've got two and they fit in the hoop nicely. And then we can just have a look. If I just go to hoop, you should be able to see. There we are, they're ready to go. So now they are all ready to stitch out. I just need to send them to my machine. So I'm going to use the 790 Pro. So I'm going to show you how I can do that wirelessly. But if you had um, any of the other Benina, wonderful Benina machines, then you can just save it onto a, your USB stick. So you would go up uh, to the little um, picture of the black sewing machine, my card, click on, and it will open it up and you can use your EXP option. But as I say, in a moment, I'm going to send it to the pro. So I'll come back and show you that in a second. OK, so we're ready to hoop up now. Um, I've just got one layer of stitch and tear and my top fabric, which is a, a nice cotton. And um, I just wanted to just mention this uh, black stuff. Well, this is actually draw liner. Uh, what it does is it stops your hoop from moving around when you're trying to hoop up. There's nothing more annoying when you're trying to hoop up and it skidding all over the table. There are lots of products out there, I think, designed especially for this, but this is just a really nice, cheap, easy option. So yeah, this is just draw liner that you can get on rolls. So I'm just going to hoop up so I can just pick up all my layers and pop it over my bottom hoop, which isn't going to move. And then I can just work it my way down with the palms of my hands and just pop it into place. And then I can just give it a little tug either side. So it really needs to be drum tight. So it's nice and tight. And these um, cross stitch designs, well, particularly the first one is very dense. So um yeah make sure it's nice and tight i think one layer of stabilizer will be okay but we'll see maybe we might need two but uh for the moment i'm going to go for one because i'm going to stitch out on the uh, b790 pro which has built-in wi-fi i'm going to send it directly from my laptop to the machine but if i um had a different model with an embroidery unit then i could use my wi-fi device which is here and that plugs in and that acts in the same way i can then send designs from my software to my, um, to my sewing machine wirelessly. Or if you don't have either of these options, then you can just use a USB stick as we traditionally would have done. So we're going to transfer the design. I've got the design on my screen and I've connected my laptop and my sewing machine to the same network and it's on 2.4 gigahertz. That's very important. So they can all talk to each other. Okay, so I'm gonna send my design over to the machine using the Wi-Fi. So I go into my little picture of the sewing machine, right to card machine, click on there. Now I'm on my 790 Pro, I'm in edit mode with the pencil on screen, but I'm actually gonna press the picture of the, um, the needle with the little dots. I'm gonna press that and it will send it over to my edit screen. There we go, magic, and it's up. So that's brilliant. So now I've sent it over. I can just go into Stitch Out down here and I'm ready to stitch it out. Now it's saying I've got 12 colours, but because I'm repeating the egg, I'm going to group them together with this icon. So now it's saying I've only got six colours to do. So I'm going to start off now on the screen, it's yellow, but I'm going to choose some different colours. I'm actually going to do a blue egg. So we are going to get stitch that out and we'll show you a little bit of that progress. Uh, and we're going to work our way through the design. Brilliant. So I'm going to start stitching out my egg, but I just wanted to show you the Benina um, Stitch Out app, which is fantastic. So I've connected this up to my uh, 790 Pro and I can tap on my machine. It's going to connect to it and load the design that I'm about to stitch out. Now what it does is it shows you the colours that you're going to use. So you could go and take this uh, and 
go and collect your threads. I've already done it, but uh, so it shows you the different colors and you might have programmed in which colors you're using. So it shows you each one of the colors I'm going to use so I can go and collect those. Then I can move on to the next phase so I can go skip preparation. And here it's showing me how long the design is going to take. Uh, and it's showing me what color I'm using and the color I'm going to use next, which is fabulous. So I'm just going to press and hold my green button and start to stitch out. Oh, I need to tell it that I've got the right foot on. I always forget to do that. So we're going to go in, tell it I've got, this is actually 26L on this machine because, um, so we can see the wonderful laser. Uh, and press and hold, start to sew. Oh, it's told me my machine has stopped. I'm going to close that. And we're starting to stitch out and it's going to work its way through. It's saying it's running. I can also go to this view, which shows all my different colors. Or my favorite view is where it's actually showing me exactly what I'm stitching. So what this means is I could go make a cup of tea or go and work on a different project. And I know exactly what my machine is doing. So I can leave the room and know confidently that it's still stitching out, which is fantastic. And it will tell me if I need to come and change my thread color or if the machine has stopped. Okay, so it's looking really nice. We're just going to finish my last color, which I'm going to go back to yellow, I've decided. So let's just thread that up. Fantastic. And away we go. I finished the stitch out and I think it looks really good. It looks really detailed. Um, it looks as if I've spent ages hand stitching it all, but as we know, I haven't. Um, so that's good. So we're gonna move on now to the creator egg. Okay, so I want to show you the options if you have the creator software, so the creator level of version nine, because that doesn't include the applications, the quilter or the cross stitch, but that doesn't mean you can't create really lovely cross stitch designs. So we're gonna see how we can do that with the creator software. First of all, I'm going to go in and I'm gonna open my artwork and I'm just gonna um, get my little yellow egg back on screen. So there we have it there. I'm just going to zoom in so I can see it. And I'm going to digitize an outline around this because um, I'm going to use that in my egg. So I want to go to my digitize toolbox to my closed objects tab. Click on that and I'm going to use an outline to make sure I've got that selected. And then I can left and right click my way around to um, form the shape. So left click at the top and then right click as I go round. It makes a little beepy noise. So it's a different noise for a curved point to a straight point, which I find quite helpful because it just means it's an extra reference so I know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to click all the way around up here. And when I get there, I'm going to have a straight point. And then I'm going to press Enter, join them together, and I have my egg shape. OK, then I can get rid of my artwork so I don't need that anymore. OK, so I have my egg shape. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to go and I'm going to um, create two of them because uh, I'm going to have a front and back of my egg. So I'm going to go in and select it. And then what I can do is I can right click and drag to the side. And this is called a quick clone and release. And when I release, I have two. So that's great. So now I have two. So now I have my front and my back. So again, these are just references. Then what I can do is I can go into my lettering. 
So I'm going to click on my lettering tab. Now there's a really brilliant font within both of the versions of the software. So I'm going to right click there to bring up my object properties and that's called Creative Cross. So I can click on my fonts list, press C so I can find it. And then we have Creative Cross. Now this is great. It's a whole font all in cross stitch. Now if I do a capital E, I get um, the letter with a little design. So it's an, a letter E with a little egg. If I have a lowercase e, I just get the letter on its own. And if I have a character, uh, so for an egg, it's the percentage sign, I get just the egg on its own. So I can click apply, OK, and enter. And there it is. And we'll just zoom in. Um, we'll just zoom into that so we can just see it a bit more clearly. So we've got the um, E with the egg, E on the own, or an egg on its own. So depending on what option you want to go for, you just need to remember what you need to type in. OK, so I'm going to delete that. I'm going to come back out. So again, what I want is I just need the E. So I'm just going to go for a capital E. And my baseline is going to be straight. And I can just click Apply OK. And then Enter. And there is my E. Now I need to make this bigger, as you can see. So I'm just going to drag it and drop it until I get it the size I'm happy with. So I think that might be a bit big, might make it a tiny bit smaller. OK, so if I want to centre this, I can select it. And I can select my outer egg, so they're both selected. And then I can go into a range and I can go into align centres to make sure they're both in the middle. Now, when I do that, I find that my, I don't like the way the E's positioned because of the kind of weight of it. So I'm just going to eyeball that and I'm just going to move that so I think it looks nice within the design. So that's great. So that's my letter E there, ready to stitch out. Then for my other, um, the other side, I just want to fill that full of cross stitch. So I'm going to select the border I've already created and I'm going to change it to a pattern fill, which is down here. So I'm going to click on that. And that comes up with this beautiful um, swirly design, but I want a cross stitch. So while I'm still hovering over that, I'm going to right click and I'm going to find a different design. So I'm going to go into select, click up here and I'm going to go to NP004A. I'm not quite sure why it's called that, but I want K0002A. I think that will look nice. Click on that and put OK. So again, apply, OK. And then I get a lovely cross stitch design so you can play around with the options you have. But that's what I'm going to go for. So now I just want to rotate all of those. So I'm going to go control A and then I'm going to rotate them with my rotate by 45 degrees icon here. And then we'll just have a little look at that to hoop. So now I've got the front and the back of the egg. And all I need to do now is send it to my machine and stitch it out. Oh, and I need to save it as well. So this is my creator version of the egg. So I've loaded my design up on the screen and I've got some lovely green fabric already hooped up and we're just going to stitch out the last of the eggs. Great, so now all my eggs are stitched out and all I need to do now is to mount them on the card and to join them together. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut round all the eggs, leaving about a quarter of an inch border. And then I'm going to um, stick some card on the back and um and stick that down and then and then stick them together and then finally i'm going to sew them together um on the sewing machine so that's nice and firm so i'm going to get going doing that okay so i've cut all the eggs out and i've stuck the card on so we're doing a bit of recycling and we've used a cereal box for that uh, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to um cut round the edges of these so then i can fold them in so i'm just going to do all of that then I'm going to use some 505 spray to stick the edges down. Okay, so I've done that one. And I'll just show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my 505 spray, which is great good for using in lots of different occasions. And I'm just going to give it a really liberal spraying round. And then I'm just going to get the edges and just fold them in so they, they stay. So I create a nice, neat edge. And then I'm going to sew them all, uh, sew this to the other one. So I've stuck all my edges down and um, I've just cut a bit of cord that I'm going to place in the middle. I've put a knot there so it doesn't pull out. So this is how I'm going to hang them up. And then I'm just going to stick them together. And then we're going to go over to the sewing machine and use foot 10, the edge stitch foot, to sew around the edge. So I've got my sample um, egg here and I just played around with a few different stitches. Um, I thought um, a blind stitch might be good, but in the end I've just gone for a normal zigzag. What I've done is I've moved it over to minus two, so I've moved my position over and I've made it a bit more narrow. I'm going to use my foot 10D and I've got my jewel feed engaged. And I'm just going to use the, the, um, the guide to butt the two bits of card up to it so I get a nice smooth edge and I keep it nicely on the edge. So uh, using my knee lift, which is going to be great for this, I can just lower it down and make sure I'm right up against it. So push right in and now I'm just going to stitch all the way around and join those two together. So if I just go slowly and pivot it round and kind of push it up against the guide. I'm just going to use my knee lift and then I'm just going to carry on stitching. I'm just going to again just lift it, pivot it round. Keep these bits out of the way. I'm just going to slide these tail bits underneath. So we need to trap the cord inside. I'm just going to join it up and then I'm going to use my scissors because they're programmed with a knot. And I can just trim that and there we are, there it's all joined together. So I'm going to go and take the other two and finish the other two off now. So that's us done. I've done my three eggs. So I did the cross stitch egg that you can do on your sewing machine using your decorative stitches. Uh, I did the cross stitch design, which was using the Designer Plus software and the cross stitch program, which I think looks really effective. And I've also completed the egg where I used the Creative Cross font, which comes in the Creator software. So we've got all those three options done. Um, just some other ideas. If you wanted to make a bit more of a 3D egg, you can do. You just sew the two sides together and stuff it, which I've done there. Or if you didn't want to do um, an egg at all, you could maybe make some Easter cards using the software. So uh, you could personalize them for the if you were giving them as gifts with an initial, or on this one, I've just gone for the E for Easter with the egg again. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this project and I hope you, like me, can now realise what a hidden gem all the cross-stitch options are within the Benina sewing machines and software.